colleagues, we are engaged in a serious campaign uh, around our 10% pay claim. And we're clear on that issue in relation to our members. It's about addressing the detriment that has developed over the last 10 years of UK-driven austerity. Pay us, pay us, pay us our 10%. Pay us our school is To be honest, what we do to teachers in this country is ridiculous. We overwork them, we underpay them. We tell them incorrectly that they are part of a failing system. We tell them that what they are doing in their classrooms is insufficiently excellent. We cut budgets and constantly expect them to do more with less. And then we're surprised that only 40% want to leave. I'm actually surprised that that figure isn't a great deal higher. We're facing a crisis in retention of teachers just now with classes being covered by head teachers in primary schools and non-subject specialists in secondary schools. Universities, teacher training institutions aren't being able to fill their postgraduate places this year. And why is that? Teaching just isn't an attractive profession just now. Yesterday at conference we passed a number of motions. We renewed our commitment to the 10% claim. We agreed to intensify the action and develop the work that we've been taking forward. And critically, we agreed to make sure that our union and our members are in a state of strike readiness, if need be, come the new term after the break. That means having members who are willing to vote yes for industrial action, if industrial action is required to make Scottish Government meet our demand. Let me assure all who are willing to listen that all teachers want is for this pay claim to be settled so that they can get on with their jobs. Mr Swinney, we want a period of calm. We desire only to educate and promote learning. We have no interest in frustrating that objective. But please be aware, we will not lie down over pay. Warm words of commendation are not enough. It is time to properly value education and properly value teaching. What do we want? For the school sector, we estimate pay has fallen in real terms by 20 to 24%. So don't ever let anyone tell you 10% is too much. Because let us be clear, education is the glue which holds society together. It begins with us and it will end without us. It's time to march forward and to march forward together, colleagues. It's time for the EIS to stand up and to stand united. So let's build the campaign, let's renew our energies, and let's win this battle. Solidarity. Yeah. Yeah.